Marcus, Mark 8. In those days, the multitude being very great and having nothing to eat, Yahusha called his Talmudim unto him and said unto them, I have compassion on the multitude, because they have now been with me three days and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away fasting to their houses, rather own houses, they will faint by the way, for diverse of them came from afar, rather from far. And his Talmudim answered him, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? And he asked them, How many loaves have ye? And they said, Seven. And he commanded the people to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and gave thanks and broke and gave to his Talmudim to set before them. And they did set them before the people. And they had a few small fish. And he blessed and commanded to set them also before them. So they did eat and were filled. And they took up of the broken meat that was left seven baskets. And they that had eaten were about four thousand, and he sent them away. And straightway he entered into a ship with his Talmudim, and came into the parts of Dalmanutha. And the Parashim came forth, and began to question him, seeking of him a sign from heaven, tempting him. And he sighed deeply in his ruach, and said, Why does this nation seek after a sign? Amen, I say unto you, there shall no sign be given unto this nation. And he left them, and entering into the ship again, departed to the other side. Now the Talmudim had forgotten to take bread. Neither had they in the ship with them more than one loaf. And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Parashim and of the leaven of Herod. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have no bread. And when Yahusha knew it, he said unto them, Why, ye, why, why reason ye because ye have no bread? Perceive ye not yet, neither understand. Have ye your heart yet hardened? Having eyes, see not, and having ears, hear ye not? Rather, having eyes, see ye not, and having ears, hear ye not? And do ye not remember? When I broke the five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? They say unto him, Twelve. And when the seven among four thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? And they said, Seven. And he said unto them, How is it that ye do not understand? And he came to Beth Seda, and they brought him a blind and they rather and they brought a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. After that he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. And Yahusha went out, and his eth Talmudim into the towns of Kekaria, Philippi. And by the way, he asked his Talmudim, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? 
And they answered, Yahuchanan, the immerser. But some say, Eliyahu. And others, one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Kepha answered and said unto him, You are Hamashiach. And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. And he began to teach them that the son of Adam must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. And he spoke that saying openly and Kepha took him and began to rebuke him but when he had turned about and looked on his Talmudim, he rebuked Kepha, saying, Get behind me, Satan, for you savor not the things that be of Yahweh, but the things that be of men. And when he had called the people unto him with his Talmudim also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his staff, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the Besaras, the same shall save it. For what so what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful nation, of him also shall the son of Adam be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his father with the holy angels.'"